Hey guys, so I'm out here in Ushuaia, which is also known as the end of the world, or yeah, because it's the southernmost city in the world, and it's pretty nice so far. I haven't really done anything since being here yet. I got in really early. My flight was at like 4 a.m. from Buenos Aires, so I arrived at like 8.30 and I can't check into my hostel until like 12.30 1 so I have a couple hours to burn so I was just hanging out at a coffee shop I'm super tired but I think the fresh air is good it's really cold but it's really nice actually it's actually kind of refreshing how cold it is so and there's lots of pretty mountains Today, I'm just going to. I might go to the museum. I think just walk around the town, get my bearings. Tomorrow, I'm doing a boat tour, so that'll be really awesome. And I'll definitely film that. But uh, yes, this is the start of my trip to Swire. So far, so good. I really like it. It's a super cute town, and the mountains are super nice. And I actually really like the cold weather. Yay! made it to my hostel I've actually been here for a few hours I had I had like a three hour nap I was only planning on having an hour and a half nap and then I was gonna like go out and walk about town a bit more but that didn't exactly happen but it's okay um yeah nothing really to report the hostel is pretty cute I don't really have a lot of experience staying in hostels so this is a interesting experience for me I'm so pretty tired and I'm really hungry so I'm gonna go find a store and get some snacks and then have dinner my dad is a fisherman and he recommended a Patagonian toothfish I'm forgetting the name in Spanish right now, but I have it written down. So I'm gonna go to a restaurant and have his recommendation and let and let everybody know how it is.
outside. It's a little noisy outside. And I'm vlogging in public again and this is awkward and it's really noisy. There's somebody walking by. Okay, anyways. I'm just gonna own it. Just gonna own it. I'm just gonna own sitting here in front of my camera in public. A bunch of strangers staring at me. It's fine. It's totally fine. Um, so today, day two in Ushuaia, and I just got back from museum at the end of the world. Museum from the end of the world. End of the world museum. I don't know. It's the Ushuaia Museum. And it was really interesting, and it was quite informative. Uh, there were some things that I was like super not interested in. There's like tons of birds, as you can see, and like the wildlife and stuff, which is cool if you're like into science and stuff. But I don't really like science that much. I'm more interested in um, history and culture, which they did have quite a bit about like the history of the explorers and like the people that lived here. And it was really interesting to hear about the the natives, like the Aboriginal people, because. because nobody knows where they came from. Or at least that's what the museum said. Like, they had theories, I guess, of like how the people got here. Uh, like after or during the Ice Age or whatever. I guess just after the Ice Age. But uh, no one actually like knows for sure where the native population came from. And they were like kind of transient. And there's two major groups of uh, First Nations and one of them were a little bit more settled. They were hunter and gatherers um, But they were a little bit more settled and like north on the island and then the other ones were settled on the very south and they were called canoers because they went out in canoes a lot and like went from different islands and fished and all this um yeah so it was really interesting and coming from canada like i do know quite a bit about the first nations history there and the first nations practices and subsistence living um and all this and so it was interesting to compare the the first nations here to the first nations from home and i think there's a lot of similarities in some aspects but then um there's also a lot of similarities with They have like shamans and stuff like this, which is really interesting. Um, and some of their dress and just cultural practices seemed very interesting. And one tribe was a lot more equal than the other tribe. One of them was like they have this special ceremony just for men, and the point of it was to assert the man's position in society and to keep women like lesser than. And the other tribe had like a coming of age. Um, had like a coming of age ceremony for both genders, for both men and women. So I thought that was a very interesting difference. Yeah. And uh, yeah. so I learned some new things. And now I'm gonna go, well, in a few hours, I'm gonna go on a boat tour and see how that goes. So I'm excited to see penguins. Penguins, I'm excited to see penguins. There's some cute dogs just chilling in this park I'm at, so that's nice to see. Anyways, I shall film the boat tour and we'll see how that goes.
Hey guys, all right, so let's just have a little bit of a debrief. I'm back at my lovely apartment here in Buenos Aires. And I just have to say that my experience in Ushuaia was absolutely amazing. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, yeah, it was incredible. It was just absolutely beautiful. I loved learning about the history and the nature and the Aboriginal people. I loved going to the museum and the hike and boat tour, everything. It was just amazing. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just going to hang out in the city for a couple weeks. And then in the beginning of December, I'm off to Chile and then Peru and then back to Canada. So going to be very busy, but we'll definitely try to take you along on some adventures in this city here before I go. Okay. 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 Boy.